The XP-70 Valkyrie was a supersonic bomber prototype developed by North American Aviation, later North American Rockwell, for the United States Air Force, USAF, in the late 1950s and 1960s. The development of the XP-70 was motivated by the need for a high-altitude, high-speed bomber that could evade Soviet defenses during the Cold War. The origins of the XP-70 can be traced back to the early 1950s, when the USAF began to explore the idea of a bomber that could fly faster and higher than any existing aircraft. In 1954, the Air Force issued a requirement for a bomber that could fly at Mach 3, three times the speed of sound, and operate at altitudes of up to 70,000 feet. North American Aviation won the contract to develop the bomber, which was designated the B-70, in 1955. The company began work on a series of design studies, including a six-engine design and a four-engine design with variable sweep wings. In 1957, North American Aviation merged with Rockwell Standard to form North American Rockwell. The company continued to work on the B-70, which was now envisioned as a six-engine aircraft with a delta wing and a unique canard four-plane that helped to improve stability and control at high speeds. The first XB-70 prototype was completed in 1964 and made its maiden flight on September 21st of that year. The aircraft was a marvel of engineering, with a wingspan of 105 feet and a length of 185 feet. It was powered by six General Electric J93 turbojet engines, which together generated over 200,000 pounds of thrust. During the flight testing program, the XP-70 set numerous speed and altitude records, including a top speed of Mach 3.1 and an altitude of 74,000 feet. Although the XB-70 program was ultimately cancelled, the technological advances made during its development had a lasting impact on the aviation industry. Many of the design features and materials used in the XB-70 were later incorporated into other aircraft, such as the F-15 and the Concorde. Additionally, the XB-70 helped to pave the way for the development of the Supersonic Transport SSD, program, which aimed to create a commercial aircraft that could fly faster than the speed of sound. Although the SSD program was also eventually cancelled, it represented a major step forward in aviation technology and helped to lay the groundwork for future developments in high-speed air travel. Today, the legacy of the XB-70 lives on in the form of modern supersonic aircraft projects such as the Boom Supersonic Overture and the Arian AS-2, which are currently in development, and have the potential to revolutionize the way we travel through the skies. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this information informative and interesting.